Hi everyone! Welcome back again to our channel. For today's video, we will discuss about the prime and composite numbers. So this is the lesson that we have on the board and we will differentiate if what is a prime and a composite numbers. But before we can proceed to our proper lesson, let us um, discuss if what is a natural numbers. It is also known as the counting numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. A natural numbers can be classified into two. And these are the prime numbers and the composite numbers. So let us first discuss if what is a prime numbers. A prime number is a number that has only two factors one and the number itself i write number three on the board as an example of a prime number so how can we determine that number three is really a prime number all you have to do is to think of a two number that when we uh, multiply them together we get the answer or the product three the only two numbers that we can multiply together to get three is 1 times 3 is equal to 3 or 3 times 1 is equal to 3. So, the rules is really applied into this example. There is no other number that we can multiply to get 3 aside from 1 and 3. Therefore, the factors of 3 are always one and itself. So let us have some more examples of a prime numbers. We write two here as a prime number. Why? Because there is no other number that we can multiply to get the answer to. So the only two numbers that we can use is one times two is equal to two. That's why two is an example of a prime number. So aside from 3 and 2, 5 is also another example of a prime number because we cannot use any two numbers to get the answer 5 aside from 1 and the number itself, which is 5. So 1 times 5 is equal to 5. And the number 2 classification of a, a natural number is the composite number is a number that has more than two factors. It includes one and itself. So we have number six as an example of a composite numbers because aside from one and six, we can also think of another two numbers that we can use to get the answer six. We can also use uh, two and three is equal to six. Because when we multiply 2 times 3, the answer is 6. That's why 6 is an example of a composite number. Let us write now if what are the factors of 6. So we have 1 and 6 and we have 2 and 3. So these 4 numbers are what we call the um, factors of Six. Remember, kids, that when we write the factors of a following number, we should write them in a ascending form. Fifteen is also an example of a composite numbers. So let us find out why. So the first thing that we should do is to think of a two numbers to get fifteen. So we have one times fifteen is also equivalent to 15. Now, what are the other numbers that we can uh, multiply to get 15? So, we have 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Since 15 has more, more than one factor, that's why it is also considered as a composite number. 40 is also an example of a composite numbers. So, kids, help me to prove it again. So, two numbers 
to make it 40 when we multiply is number 1. 1 times 40 is equal to 40. So, think again of two numbers that when, you, that when we multiply, we can also get the product 40. So, we also have 5 times 8 is also 40. So, is there any number that we can multiply to make it 40? So, if your answer is 2 times 20, it will also give you the answer 40. So, is there any number that we can multiply to make it 40 again? So, we also have 4 times 10 is also equivalent to 40. So, 40 does a 4 factors. So kids, these are the two important things that you should remember. A prime number has exactly two factors, while a composite number has more than two factors. Now check your mastery about our lesson. I want you to answer this activity that we have on the board to check your understanding about our lesson. So I will give you enough time to answer it. And your time starts now. Let us check your answer if you got them correctly. If your answer is same as on the board, it means to say that you already understand our lesson. Number one is an example of a composite numbers because aside from 1 times 21, we can also use 3 times 7, which is also equivalent to 21. And in number 2, 35 is also a composite numbers because aside from 1 times, 37, 1 times 35, we can also use 5 times 7 to make it 35. And also in number 3, 58 is a composite numbers because aside from 1 times 58, we can also use 2 times 29 to make it uh, 58. And also, in number 4 and 5, they are both of prime numbers because they can only use uh, two factors, which is 1 and the number itself. And that is the end of our lesson for today. I hope that you uh, find it more a fun way in loving math. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you can get more updated videos on our channel.